NTUC Enterprise has reaffirmed its unwavering commitment to income insurance's social mission following recent news of a proposal by German financial services company Allianz to acquire a majority stake in the insurer. In a detailed statement, Lim Boonhung, chairman of NTUC Enterprise, emphasized that the organization remains steadfast in its support for Income Insurance Limited. He reassured policyholders and the public that the company's core mission of providing affordable and accessible insurance options, especially to lower-income customers, will continue. Specific policies like Love and Silver Care were highlighted as prime examples of this ongoing commitment. On Tuesday, July 23, diplomat Tommy Co raised significant concerns regarding the Income Insurance Alliance deal. Co underscored that Income Insurance, originally established as NTUC Income, was founded with a distinct social purpose, to offer insurance at affordable rates to the general populace. This foundational principle has been a cornerstone of the company's operations, aiming to ensure financial protection is within reach for all segments of society. In response to these concerns, Mr. Lim issued a clarifying statement on Thursday, July 25th. He assured the public that income insurance would not deviate from its mission. The company will continue to be an integral part of national insurance programs in collaboration with the CPF board, ensuring that its products remain affordable and accessible. Mr. Lim reiterated NTUC Enterprise's role as an active stakeholder, committed to upholding the social commitments to policyholders, regardless of the new partnership. Addressing the potential benefits of Allianz's offer, Mr. Lim elaborated on how this partnership could bolster income insurance's market position. He noted that income insurance's market share in life insurance has remained below 10% over the past decade. By teaming up with Allianz, a global powerhouse in financial services, income insurance stands to gain significantly in terms of competitiveness, relevance, and resilience. Mr. Lim cited the peak of the COVID-19 pandemic as a crucial period where NTUC Enterprise's support was vital. During this challenging time, income insurance's capital buffers were severely strained due to increased demand. The support from NTUC Enterprise helped sustain the company through this period. Given the capital-intensive nature of the insurance industry, Mr. Lim highlighted that accepting Allianz's offer would provide income insurance with a robust financial backing. This partnership would enable the company to leverage Allianz's strong financial position whenever necessary, ensuring stability and growth potential in a competitive market. Furthermore, Mr. Lim addressed the interests of minority shareholders. He confirmed that they would have the opportunity to tender their shares ahead of NTUC Enterprise once the offer officially launches. Minority shareholders can sell their shares at 40 Singapore dollars and 58 cents each which represents a significant 37.3% premium over income insurance's net asset value per share of 29 Singapore dollars and 55 cents as of December 31, 2023. This move ensures that shareholders are adequately compensated while enabling the strategic partnership with Allianz to proceed smoothly. Overall, NTUC Enterprise's commitment to maintaining income insurance's social mission remains unwavering. The proposed deal with Allianz is seen as a strategic move to enhance the company's capabilities, ensuring it remains a formidable player in the insurance industry while continuing to serve the needs of its policyholders. We'd love to hear your thoughts on this development. Do you think the partnership with Allianz will benefit income insurance and its policyholders? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel, 2230 for more updates and detailed news coverage.